A lot of people in a, in a New Mexico town did not want anything to do with a world famous artist. Judy Chicago planned to open a new art museum in Belen, but after a brutal city council meeting, she is pulling the plug. News 13 Stephanie Chavez is live in the studio with what happened. Brittany, some consider Chicago's work inappropriate, and those people made their voices clear at the meeting. After it was all over, Chicago sent the city an email telling them the deal was dead. I don't know how anyone could say that they weren't pornographic. It was words like these. I do believe that some of Miss Chicago's art is considered pornographic and inappropriate. That some people used to describe Judy Chicago's artwork on Monday evening, which sometimes depicts female genitalia. One of the things that makes me very nervous is what people deem as inappropriate. Because what one person says is inappropriate, another person says is not inappropriate. Judy Chicago was watching this meeting live on Facebook. For protecting the eyes of the innocent, um, especially the children and the families of this community. She was hurt by their words, and that sparked her decision to back out of a potential partnership with the city. We believe that art can be a very positive force. Last month, News 13 told you about Chicago's plans to open a museum in Belen, her home of 18 years. But people were instantly split about the idea. It's going to cause separation, I think, in our community. Chicago disagrees, using her husband's Facebook page to defend herself, saying, quote, it's very painful to be applauded around the world and maligned in my own hometown. It makes me very sad. That same night, Chicago wrote an email to Belen Mayor Jarrah Cordova, saying she's pulling the plug on the plans because of, quote, uninformed and insulting comments. We did get in touch with Mayor Cordova today. He sent us this statement saying, in part, the city appreciates all the feedback and the council is ready to move on to new topics. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. We tried reaching out to Judy Chicago, but did not hear back as of news time.